Dad, say something, please. Do I have your blessing? You going to California with this guy? Over my dead body. Excuse me? You heard me. You're not leaving town with this boy. Well, well with all due respect, Mr. Corinthos, I am not a boy. And Christina's not a child, and we came here out of courtesy. We didn't come here to ask permission. Okay, probably not the No, this expected. isn't your decision to make either. Hello. Okay, you guys can't tell us what Christina and I are going to do with our the lives. The hell I can't. This isn't your call, Dad. I I'm an adult, and I can decide what right, I want right to right do. Right now, you're acting like a child. I, I know this is this is this is unexpected at the moment, but he, he has a job now, and have you have, she have you lost your mind? Did you forget that he he ran a scam on all of us, the oh, reality oh, show, oh, oh. and he tricked her into marrying him so his father could kill her, and then he could well, inherit. Well, that, that, that's not no, that's not it is. That's it's not fair. You... Okay, Trey didn't know what his father had planned, and, and if Christina wants to trust Trey and, and give him another chance, that's you know that's her call. I can't believe you're acting like this. What happened to the guy who was so nice to Trey on Christmas? So grateful to him for trying to have Connie committed. Well, that didn't work out too well, did it? Because Connie's still Connie. Well, that's not Trey's fault. First, I, I lost Kate. Then I lost Jason. And I'm not, I don't want to lose you. Do you understand? Is that what this is all about? You're afraid you're going to lose me? I told you, Christina, I'm your father. It's my job to look out for you, to tell you when you're making a mistake. Living, you know, in California with or without Trey is a mistake. I'm not going to allow it. You just don't want to miss me. That too. But I'm still your daughter no matter where I go. And we can Skype, you know, we can text, we can uh, talk Skype. on the phone, we're and I'll be back for the holidays. Listen, listen, no matter how much we love her, we can't make her live her life so that we're happy. We can't make her stay in Port Charles because we want her to be close. We just can't. So think about it like she's going to college. You can't compare going to Yale to, you know, moving across country, shacking up with a guy. He, he hasn't given any indication if he's going to give her what she wants. Listen, I don't think you're giving him enough crap, okay? He got the annulment. Mm -hmm. He saved her life. I mean, he did what he what you wanted him to do with Connie. He's got a job. Well, good luck to him. And I can no, I can no. What what I'm trying to say is, I can see where he's coming from. What's keeping him here? But she has a family. Actually, two families: yours and mine. I'm going to California, Dad. Whether you like it or not, and you you can visit me. And I promise to come home for all the holidays, but. But if you pull something, if, if you manipulate anyone or try to use your power in any way to force me to stay, then I swear you'll have lost me for good. Your boyfriend is a great influence. First you're going to write me off because I didn't, you know, want to do the reality show. Now you're going to say goodbye to me because I don't let you run off with him. You're right. I shouldn't be firing off ultimatums. The mob princess was my idea too. I was angry at you and mom, but I've grown up a lot since then, and, right. and now I just want to find what I want to do with my life. Go back to school, right? Do what Michael did. I will. Right? I will. As soon as, as soon as I know what I want to study. But right now, I, I want to be with Trey, and you know, I'm really excited about California. They have a great art scene and terrific fashion, and I'm applying to a bunch of internships, and, and I know I'm gonna find something there that's gonna make me happy. You want, you want fashion, you want art? Go to New York City. You know, and maybe I'll end up there, but I gotta get there when I get there. You left Brooklyn, right? Mm hmm Well, I need to leave Port Charles. It, and it, that doesn't mean I don't love you, Dad, I do. But I'm ready to try something new, take some chances. And just I'm just asking for your blessing. Well, who are you calling? Nah, I'm just checking the calendar. Alexis, how's the tenth? The tenth? Yeah, because I want to give the kids, you know, time to settle, so, you know, before we go out and visit them in California. Does this to me? Okay, you need, if you're not happy, you come back to me, understand? Yeah, yes, yes. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Hey, maybe the four of us can hang out tonight and celebrate? Sounds good. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks. I appreciate it. 
Feet are right. Okay? You got it. Dad, I'm, uh, I'm really glad we had the chance to talk earlier. Me too. Happy New Year. <laughs> I'll see you guys. See you later. <laughs> Whoa. I totally forgot it was New Year's Eve. <laughs> oh, yeah, happy New Year. Yeah. Listen. You look out for my daughter. Yes, sir. I, I would take wonderful care of your daughter, even if her father was a shoe salesman. I just want to make it clear. You know, I... I was, I was kind of thinking about what you said earlier. You know, about, about me not really having anything here to stay for. If you listen, if Kate were, if Kate were back... Is that what you... She's not... She's not... She's not back. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess I just kind of thought that maybe... Maybe at some point we might be able to have... a relationship of sorts. Or... Not as long as Connie's around. Yeah, but, I mean, don't you think, like, if... I don't know, maybe if I told her that I was leaving, that... You shouldn't creep up on a girl like that. I'm, I'm sorry. I just... I, I'm glad I ran into you, though. I, I kind of wanted to talk to you about something. Oh, yeah? We'll make it quick, because it's New Year's Eve, and I got plans for my hubby. Sorry. Wait, you know what? Better yet, give me a call next week. I'm not going to be here next week. Please. Look, I've never asked you for anything in my life. Can you just give me five minutes? I guess I can give my one and only kid five minutes. What? What's so important? I just thought you might want to know that I got a job offer in California. So I'll be leaving Port Charles. For good. <laughs>